Hey, in today's video, I'd like to show you how you can use Excolidraw in Obsidian to add metadata to images, to transform images into first-class citizens of your knowledge graph, such that you can find those images based on the tags or other metadata that you've added, not only based on the documents that you've added the images to or the file name, but actual content of these images. And when I talk about images, I'm thinking about pictures you find on the internet. I'm thinking about pictures that you take with your camera or drawings that you create. For today's example, I'm going to be using the PKM Planet image that Nick Milo created and that I found on Twitter. And first of all, I'm going to copy this image onto the clipboard and I'm going to navigate to my Obsidian Vault, which has a document open. And of course, I could just simply paste this image in here. And when I do this, Obsidian gives this image a, an auto-generated file name. I can even open this image and I can rename this uh, to whatever I want. So in this case, I'm actually adding some metadata to the file name itself. I'm giving it a title and I'm adding the author of the image. And this is actually not bad. For many use cases, this is perfectly okay. But I want to add additional metadata to my image. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be inserting this image into an Excolidraw drawing and I'm going to add the metadata to that drawing. So let's see how I go about this. So to add an Excolidraw drawing to the active document, I open up the command palette and I choose this action here, create a new drawing in a new pane and embed into active document. What this does is it opens Excolidraw on the side and it inserts a link to this drawing on the left into my original document. If I rename this to the PKM planet, then of course on the left this is renamed as well. If I insert my image in here, then on the left this image will appear. And I can also switch to a preview mode and then I can see the image here. I can also change the size of the image by using the pipe character and writing down the width of the image. It will not change in the live editor view, but in preview mode you can see that the image will be larger. And now I can use Excolidraw to add metadata to my image. The way I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to split this view vertically. So I have the drawing open twice and I'm going to change one of these views to markdown view and I'm going to be adding my metadata here. I can edit any part or I can freely change the part between the front matter and text elements. So this part of the document right here this I can freely change and Excolidraw will maintain that change. You should not change text elements and anything below that because that can break the file. And of course, you need to have the front matter tag Excolidraw plugin here for Excolidraw to recognize that this is an Excolidraw file. So I'm going to add some metadata here. I'm going to add tags and I'm going to add PKM and I'm going to add Twitter as my two tags. I have my default Excolidraw tag here. I use this to color Excolidraw drawings in my graph view so I can see all of my drawings with a different color. Also note that my tags has double columns here and that is because this way these tags become searchable by data view. So if you're using data view, this is something you would probably want to do. And I'm going to add some additional metadata here, author, and that is in this case, Nick Milo. And I'm going to add source 
as well and for the source i'm going to head back to twitter and i'm going to copy the link to the tweet and i'm going to paste that in here <clears throat> and then i'm going to add an abstract here and in the abstract i'm going to copy some of the text from the drawing or the image so i can reference it uh, in my searches so let me just do that quickly So I've added some metadata to my image and with this I can close this uh, right here and I can show you how I can search for this data. So you can see I already tested this earlier but if I search for PKM then it will bring up my document as well as if I search for I don't know Twitter then it will also find my document as well as if I f uh, search for uh, idea management it will bring this up and so on any of the text and metadata that I've added I can use that for search in addition I'm going to just add one more thing here I'm going to add a footer to my image so that any time I insert this image to a document I have that standard footer here so I'm going to double click here I'm going to write source and I'm going to add the footer as a wiki link the way I do this is I uh, paste the link text uh, actually I paste it twice once in square brackets once in round uh, brackets and and I in, accidentally added an empty row and I'm just going to make the font size much smaller and with this what I've done is I've added this footer that will always appear whenever my image appears in a document so you can see my footer right there and also if I open up this image I can click on this link right here and I need to control click on it and then my browser will open up and it will navigate me to this uh, location from where I've uh, taken this uh, image from and this is good because this way whenever I reference this image in any writing I can always uh, appropriately uh, reference the source but also it's convenient for me because I can find my way back so that's in a nutshell the idea there are a couple of tips and tricks that I also want to show you that are I think worth uh, knowing about and these are going to be two types of tips and tricks one is about appearance the other is about using these images with obsidian publisher so first of all I want to draw your attention to the background color here which is set to transparent if I would set this to black for example it's going to be white because right now my I'm in dark mode so in dark mode black becomes white bottom line what I want to show you is that this image has uh, quite a large border around it and uh, this doesn't look uh, that well or if you don't like that if you change the background to transparent then that border disappears and is no longer visible uh, you saw that when I created my new drawing it already came with the transparent background the way I achieved this is I have my Excalidro template set up so the template is a file right here in my uh, Excalidro folder uh, excuse me for the many files here but this is my demo vault with uh, with uh, quite a mess but so if I open up my template you can see that my template has a transparent background and also you can see that here the stroke color is white and my default font is the normal font you can set up a template and then any new drawing you create is going to use that template you set up the template here in Excalidro settings by setting the template file and so that's how by default my background color was transparent the other bit I want to show you is uh, how you can insert a different type of file so now I've inserted here an Excalidro 
image and in preview it looks good when you export this to pdf for example this works but with obsidian uh, publish it doesn't work and or xcolly draw images don't show up but i have a solution for that so if i come to settings i can set a different embed uh, file format so type of file to insert into a document I can change this. Well, right now I cannot, but if I come down to the export settings, I need to turn on the auto export to PNG or SVG. Uh, this means that whenever I save the Excolidro file, it will also save a PNG version of that file. I have this setting already turned on. Keep the SVG PNG file names in sync with the drawing file. This means that whenever I rename my drawing, the PNG or SVG file will be renamed or if I delete it, it will be deleted. When I move it to a folder, the file will move with it. So it's just very convenient that it keeps these two files together. And once I've turned on auto export to PNG, I can now select PNG from this uh, list and with this then I'm going to show you just in a second when I insert a new drawing then the link to the PNG will be inserted into my uh, document. Uh, note also that I have these settings export image with background and export image with theme. These are tricky or can be tricky so it you might need to play with these settings a bit to achieve the outcome that you're looking for it can be a bit confusing but uh, i promise you that with a bit of uh, clicking uh, you will find the setup that works for you in your uh, own environment so now let's get back to our document and let's uh, I'm going to close this on the side and close this as well. And now I'm going to open up the command palette and I'm going to create a new drawing. I'm going to do it in the current active pane and embed it into the active document. So when I click on this, I have my empty Excolidraw drawing here. I'm going to insert the image from the vault and I actually know that this was the pasted image ID. I remember that and with that I have my image here. I can also add my uh, footer here that I'm now not going to bother with the wiki link just to place the footer here. And with that I can now navigate back to my daily note and you will see two things here. So first of all, you see that I have my link to the PNG attachment and I have a link under this to edit the drawing in Xcolid Draw. And also what I can see is that the image is missing. That is unfortunately because uh, Obsidian doesn't automatically recognize that the file was updated and there's a bit of a a timing issue here that I haven't really been able to work out. Uh, what you need to do is you need to navigate away from this file and navigate back and with that you will have your uh, image here. So it did update, it was only, or the image was created, only uh, the, the view didn't update and you will see my link here and I, if I click here under this edit in Excolidraw link, then my image will open up uh, in Excolidraw. I can do my edits. Again, you might need to do this magic with navigating away from the document and back if you want to see in real life your update, but otherwise this should work. And also note that this edit in Excolidraw link is in a markdown comment. That means that when you do your uh, preview mode then that is not going to be visible so that is the way how i've solved that you actually have the png image embedded into your document but you can always get back to the original excolitro drawing and do your edits there
So that was the other trick I wanted to show you to uh, how to embed Xcolidro drawings into your document so that with Obsidian Publisher you can use these images without uh, much issue. And once again, just to recap, the idea I wanted to show you today was how to add metadata to images. And the way we've done it is we inserted the image from the internet into an Xcolidro drawing. And in Markdown view, we added our tags and our abstract that allows us to search for this image using the data that we've added here uh, as metadata. And we can still insert this image into our documents either as an Xcolidraw image or as a PNG or SVG. And all of this is going to uh, look nice uh, in your PDF exports, in your Obsidian Publisher exports or what other uh, exports uh, you are using. So that's what I wanted to show you today. I hope you find this helpful and useful and yeah, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions uh, regarding this idea. Thank you.